Oh, well, we need to still finish the dance. You know, Cheryl and um, Artem and, and Corey and I were practicing for our big dance, you know, presentation for my yes. family. And that's when COVID hit. And that was the last time that I was actually in public was with you. Uh, isn't that crazy? So crazy. And all of a sudden it was like, no, we're shutting down dance rehearsals. And I'm like, shutting down dance rehearsals? <laughs> What is happening? You must like, be serious. Down. Yeah, something serious <laughs> is happening if we're shutting down. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. Yeah. So do you guys never finished the dance then? So you did, never performed? No, I, we couldn't do it without you. Okay, well, to it's be I tossed the rose, you know, I thought about you. So right, right, there right, right. Bigger, bigger things going on and just, you know, like realizing what was happening and you know all joking aside and and being serious it was just so um devastating for so many people to watch business after business shut down and i mean who would have thought a year ago that you couldn't uh go to a restaurant or a movie or a, a disneyland or you know just all the different things that we've taken for granted since the day i, I was certainly born yep um, I remember you walking into rehearsal with gloves on, and this is when it all started, right? I was like, wait, what's going on? We have to start wearing gloves and then masks, and yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just the new normal. It's so weird. It's a real time. I mean, we were, we were finishing up our last leg, not our last leg, but like the middle of our current uh, tour that we're on right now, which was in South America. Wow. And thankfully, we were able to get home. Otherwise, I would st probably still you know, be there because they shut down the borders. And I was excited to at least get back home to my kids and my wife, but we don't know. I mean, my, my whole world is, is going to be the very last thing to come back. Unfortunately, concerts, live shows, that's the last thing on the totem pole. But I know when it does come back, people are going to be ecstatic because people uh, love live yeah. concerts. They love yeah. shows. I was um, talking to someone last night and I said, what do you miss the most about life as we knew it? And their answer was concerts. Yeah. And I thought that was interesting. It. You know, everybody has something that's that's uh, that's their trigger of, of what they really miss. And, totally. and more than one person I've heard really miss the um, just the experience of a live performance. And, yeah, totally. and being, I mean, just being on Dancing with the Stars, I miss hugging other people. <laughs> Because yeah. like we're or just so audience. we're so quarantined with our own partner. Like AJ and I are only it's only the two of us. Even the yeah. producers, Chris, like when Rob did the show, you know, yeah. you saw that there was field producers in the room. Now they made a whole dance studio into like where all the producers go, but they are not allowed to interact with us. We're constantly being tested five days a week. Um, and it's just really like you want to hug, right? Because like we're dancers and we just want to touch each other, right. <laughs> but it's so hard. It's so it's it's weird. Doesn't it, doesn't it seem so long ago that all of this started? I remember when they yes. when the rumors were that that LA is going to shut down, right? And I was like, wait, what? Are, what are you talking about? The whole city? And then over here where I live in Calabasas, the local store went into that where everyone was buying everything and it happened the day that they announced Disneyland is closed. It's mm -hmm. like that's when it hit me too like whoa this must be serious. The happiest place yeah. on earth is shut down. I'll tell you one of the secrets in raising these kids was really showing up because when mm. I was young and I was in my I had Courtney when I was 23 and when I was very young and my kids started getting into grade school and on and on you know I was the soccer coach and I was the wow, mother awesome. and I was the Girl Scout leader and I wow. drove, you know, carpool and I got, I had the birthday parties and I had everybody at our house doing, you know, teaching them dances and, and, you know, just doing everything, tennis lessons or, you know, whatever we could figure out for the kids. They had a lot of blessings, but we took advantage of every minute, you know, totally and you really as a family, you know, you, 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 you know, my mom and um, my yeah. relationship with each other. And we kind of we did try to do the whole like momager thing and mom and daughter. And we found it to be very challenging. Um, and I think it's because truly like it was hard to separate. You know, we had dance studios. My mom ran my dance studios. So we had three of them. Um, and then it was like, but then I wanted my mom and then I, then she wanted me to like do and talk business. And I'm just like, it was really challenging. So I really, fi I find you just admirable and yeah. just like a super woman because like to be able to balance the two, it has to be challenging or 
I'm sure there is a formula that you, not a lot of people know about. You were invested in your kids, which is huge. And even today you still are, even though they're all off doing their own thing. They're all very, very successful women and they're all, you know, with, with multiple businesses, but you're still heavily involved. Like, you um, didn't speaking just go, of, okay, Chris, like, I... 10%. <laughs> I have to Good say, Chris, Good. I'm so obsessed with Skims. Like, I think I have one of everything. I am I love you. so obsessed. Like, I cannot. I remember actually Kim Gate giving me my first pair of Spanx ever back when she did Dancing with the Stars. And I was like, what is this? And so I was like, no one knows undergarments like Kim Kardashian, I'm telling you. It's truly a dream. You know, it's a match made in heaven. I mean, her and shapewear. Her solution wear is everything, everything wear, all her PJs, yeah. everything. All oh my it. goodness. I know. It's good stuff. It's good yeah. Stuff. It's, it's amazing. Stuff. amazing, I'm very amazing. Proud of her. It's amazing to me that you built more than just a product. It's a phenomenon. It really is. Like, again, not to keep talking about rehabs, but I was in rehab <laughs> and one of the times I was in rehab and they, they would take us out on the outing. And most of the people wanted to just drive by your store, but you, <laughs> you know, and it, it, it but th they loved everything about you and your family, you know, mm -hmm. so it's a phenomenon. And that's why I go back to this, you know, like, do you have a guru? Do you like, the, what is it? <laughs> you know, I, I find it so amazing that you are so normal. Your, your, your kids are, normal they're not lighting their hair on fire and it just blows me away where did you learn how to do all of this chris like how who was your mentor well i think my grandmother and my mom i think that i you know i was a flight attendant for american airlines you know when i was 19, 20 years old and i learned a lot of really great organizational skills and how to budget time and how to process energy and emotion and a bunch of people and you know and you start that young and you have a responsibility and it's not like you can just jump off the plane and right. get tired of working yeah. it's a lot of work and i started off you know uh learning those kind of skills and just regular people skills and yep. things like that and it grew into getting married and having a family and taking care of a home and uh, you know, my idea of a really good time is cleaning out an underwear drawer. You well, <laughs> that's where Kim gets that. That gives me great joy when you say, you know, besides saying my prayers, I think the one thing that keeps me sane and my team, anybody, my kids will tell you that I just love to organize. It makes me very calm and it makes me feel really, really good to walk into a pantry and have everything lined up. That, to me, I am super OCD too, I have to say. And Kim, I mean, Kim obviously gets that from you then because yeah. even before all of this, right? What didn't she, or she organized people's closets? Wasn't yeah. that what she did? Yeah. That yeah. is so, yeah, that is, that takes some patience and skill, that's for sure.